Hello and welcome back to the studio. Today is October 4th. It's my fourth day of, uh, I still haven't decided what I'm going to call this. I should look it up. Anyways, it's the fourth day of Inktober. Um, it's just 31 drawings and, and 31 days. Um, but before I do that today, I'm actually going to be working on some uh, artwork for another YouTuber, uh, Scooby, which I'll provide a link to in the description below if you're interested. Um, I talked about this before, but it's uh, body weight, uh, body fat percentage images, and I'm working on, um, this is 20% that I'm working on, this is 3%. So I think you can see, yeah, you can see that. Um, so anyways, I'm going to just work on that for a little bit, and um, it'll pass by before you know it, and then I'll get on to the Inktober. But this is an interesting uh, part of, of this challenge, is I'm trying to get one a day, one video a day, and then I'm also trying to do other stuff as well. So um, obligations. So that's a, that's a challenge for me. Um, but anyways, yeah. So we'll, uh, I'll, I'll do a couple minutes of the... Uh, overhead shot but uh, not very much so then I'll turn off the cameras get some work done and then I'll be back <laughs> that's probably more than you wanted to know <laughs> so I'm basically just doing an undercoat I did the outline um, Gosh, the other week, last week sometime, or maybe it was earlier this week. It all blends together. But for this one, I'm just going to start with a very light wash, as you'll see here. Um, it's almost imperceptible. It may not even show up on camera. So, But I'm just using that to just get the start of uh, where my shadows are going to be. This is actually an underlayment. Um, so it'll cover most of the, the body, but this helps me start to get a feel. This is the third in the series I've worked on, so I'm starting to pretty much know the body even if the fat percentages change. I'm just getting ready for another uh, bottom coat and uh, one of the things I do to maintain consistency across the uh, uh, paintings is I actually keep the color that I've mixed so this is just a dry form and I found that if I actually let it dry out it's easier to reconstitute than if I'm just covering up the uh, pigment to keep it from drying out. Um, if it's allowed to sit in its wet state, uh, the pigment seems to separate and it's really hard to remix it. 
Um, whereas if I add just a little bit of water in the beginning, I can get it mixed pretty well, and then I add water to get the uh, consistency I need. So that's what I'm doing right here. So that's about an hour in. Uh, I don't have a lot of time to work on this today, so I'm just trying to get a little bit done. Um, but yeah, so it's it's starting to show up, starting to get a little bit more form to it before it was just the line drawing. So um, something like this is the final goal. We'll um, we'll get there. Uh, but yeah, it's it's about a week's worth of work um, off and on, and uh, yeah. By the end of next week, this should look done, <laughs> if all goes well. Um, but yeah, you can see by the, the number of, of colors that I have to go through, and it's multiple washes just to get the correct definition for the per, uh, percentage of body fat. This is a very technical um, series of paintings I'm working on. Um, there isn't much artistic leeway, if you will. So it, it really has to be fairly accurate. So it takes a while. Um, anyways, uh, I'm going to go uh, take a break and uh, do some laundry and then come back and work on day four, uh, Inktober. Um, see, what, see what that has in store. I'm not sure yet uh, what, the, what the subject matter will be. I have an idea, but I haven't decided if that's what I'm going to go with. So with that, I'll see you in a moment. And just like that, I'm back. Uh, today, this afternoon, I'm going to do a small landscape, and there's no sketch, there's no reference, this is just me um, winging it. So, wish me luck, we'll see what happens. I'm thinking, um, yeah, I'm thinking just overlooking uh, a lake or something with a little island in the middle, some mountains in the background. So pretty basic. Um, make do with the time I have. So let's see how it goes. So I'm going to start. I think what I'll do is I'll start in the foreground. And kind of like the other day, we're just going to have a little overlook. So let me uh, use my little cheat card. There we go. Get the pen working.
So I think that's a pretty good start. Um, the idea I had was to work from the foreground aft or back uh, just so that um, I could define the uh, area in front so I wouldn't be drawing uh, later on. Uh, let me see, let me back that up and we'll cut and so um, I've got the foreground roughed in and I decided to go from the foreground to the background since this is ink and um, I'm not going to be erasing easily <laughs> anything I put down um, I figured that made sense so I'm, I'm not going to bother to draw a mountain that goes over into this area because I have trees and um, if I do end up with a mountain there, which I may, um, I think it's important that I know where the trunks are going to be, where the leaves are going to be, so I don't have a line through all that that I have to figure out later. Um, but yeah, I think for the most part, it's, it's looking pretty good. So we'll continue on. So I think that's a good uh, overall sketch. Um, there's a couple areas where I kind of made a mistake. It's nothing major. Uh, I should have done my figured out where my trees were going before I started doing the shrubs because there's a little bit of overlap right there. Um, I really wanted to get the feeling of distance here and depth. So uh, this little island is quite a ways out. So it's a fair ways up the the uh, canvas and then uh, the far shore is again quite a ways away so it's lifted quite a bit above the uh, closer shoreline there um, also I refrained from there's a tree line on the far shore I refrained from going all the way to the trees on the island uh, same with the mountain. You'll notice it doesn't reach all the way down. You get the atmospheric effect. Um, and I really want to keep the different elements separate or it can get, um, uh, it can kind of get mushed all together and it's hard to get the feeling of depth that way. So, but anyways, we're going to continue on now, start uh, coloring things in and uh, see what it looks like. <laughs> Got the foreground pretty much done. I'll go back at the end and kind of tie everything together. But now I'm going to move uh, into the middle ground, so the island area, and, and start in on the water a little bit. And uh, yeah, so continue on.
So I'm just using the blending tool here to kind of smooth out the reflections. And I don't know if you noticed that or not, but I've, I uh, actually used a slightly contrasting, a little darker shade on this tree on the left here, just to get a little bit of contrast with the tree behind it. So, and again, the same thing with this other tree on the right. So just to get a little bit more contrast, a little bit more interest. So three different tones in that one little island. So that's coming along rather nicely. Um, I don't know if it picked up on the camera or not, but I was really working to make sure, I've got a blending tool here, and I actually used that with the lightest shade of gray that I had. And I worked around, but not coming in contact with the uh, trees on the island, and over here, the trees and the shrubs. Um, I wanted to blend it, just get a little bit of a fade, uh, just to, again, create that illusion of depth, so, and get that separation. Same with the mountain. Uh, the mountain never really comes in contact with these trees on the far shore. Um, it, the eye completes the lines. Um, it's an interesting little uh, element to our physiology. Um, mentally will will complete the uh, structure even if it's not there and by leaving out little elements like that you can get that illusion of depth and that illusion of distance so so i'm just going to do a little bit of clean up in the foreground i think but pretty much i think that's done so So I hope you enjoyed this video today. Um, I, I enjoyed making this and uh, yeah, I hope it encourages you to you know go and grab a pen and a piece of paper and just make a little piece of art. It doesn't have to be something you know grand that's ever going to hang on a museum wall. Just make it your own and, and enjoy the process. Um, create something. Um, if you have any suggestions for future works that I might do, uh, please leave them in the comments below. Words of encouragement are also uh, greatly appreciated. If you like this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, please let me know why, and uh, I'll try and incorporate that into future ones. Uh, let's see, yeah, like, share, subscribe, all those wonderful things. If you feel that this was um, you know, worthy of your friend's attention, please uh, share on uh, social media. That would help me out a great deal, and I appreciate it. So, anyways, I think that's all for today. 
Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Yeah, that's a good one. It's getting better.